Well, with so much attention being paid to that natural disaster playing out to our south, local officials have a message for us tonight. Don't wait for an emergency to affect us to figure out how you'd face it. Action News reporter Dan Quay are live at the Red Cross in Center City, Philadelphia tonight. And Dan, no time like the present to prepare. No time like the presence, Brian. That's what the Red Cross is saying. Now is a good time as any to be thinking about emergency preparedness for any type of disaster, whether it's a hurricane, a bad storm, and anything that might come with it. We've all seen the devastation a storm can bring. Down power lines that can leave you in the dark and without communications, or flooding that can drive you out of your home. Evacuation is one of the things you should think about. The Red Cross has three basic steps to being prepared. First, build a kit which should include things like a flashlight, an emergency blanket, extra batteries, and then a first aid kit. So many times people forget this is a disaster kit. You want to include a first aid kit. Of course, if the power goes out in the area, there's a strong possibility those ATM machines will not work. So step two, make a plan. It's always a good idea to have cash, um, personal documents, an ID, passport with you, and any medications that you may need. And you'll want to put those medications in your in your kit. Non-perishable goods like canned goods could be vitally important in an emergency. Make sure the food is already prepared, and then, of course, water. You want to have at least a gallon per person per day. That's the recommended amount of water to have. And last on the list, be informed. September is National Preparedness Month, so we think it's a really good time to think about your family, get a plan. And a good way to stay informed is with the Red Cross Emergency app that you can download on your phone. It has ways to track any storm that's coming your way, tips on how to stay prepared, where the nearest shelters are, uh, so much more. I just downloaded it, pushed that button in here. You can just find where the nearest shelters are, other information on emergency flooding, winter storms, hurricanes, all of the above. That's a really nifty app to have.